Hello all, my name is Chinmay Dishpande and today we are going to discuss topic Numerical Evaluation of Double Integration. Let's discuss a method of numerical evaluation of double integration. First method is a trapezoidal rule. Consider the integration of integration y0 to yn, integration x0 to xn, f of x, y dx dy is to be determined. Now let us assume that the spacing between y that is from y0 to yn is denoted by k and spacing between x that is from x0 to xn is denoted by h. Then we have to prepare a table here. How to prepare a table? So first write here y0, y1, y2 then write x0, x1, x2. So this is what is a table. Now what is the meaning of this? Whatever a given function f of xy I have written here in all the places f of x y. Now here how to find out this value of a function when we put x equal to x0 and y equal to y0 in a f of x y you will get this corresponding value. When we put x equal to x1 and y equal to y0 in a given function f of x y we will get this corresponding value. When we put x equal to x2 and y equal to y0 in a given function we will get this value. So likewise we have to find out this then this value this value and f of x0 y2 f of x1 y2 and f of x2 y2. Now based on this table we can remember the formula as follows. This is what is the formula. What is the formula? hk by 4 where h and k are a spacing between x and y that we discussed already. Sum of terms within box. Now, 1, 2, 3, 4. These are the terms within the box. So, we have to add these two terms or add these four terms plus 2 into sum of the terms that are integrated by arrow. Now, f of x1, y0, f of x2, y1, f of x1, y2 and f of x0, y1 are denoted by the arrows, indicated by arrows. So, make a sum of these and multiply it by 2 plus 4 into middle term present in the table. f of x1, y1 is the middle term which is present in the table. So, therefore, simply we can write this like it. That is, sum of terms within box means what? f of x0, y0, f of x2, y0, then f of x0, y2 and f of x2, y2. Make a sum of all these. Then, 2 into sum of the terms that are integrated by arrow. I already explained 1, 2, 3, 4. Add these multiply, multiply it by 2 and 4 into middle term present in the table means f of x1, y. This is what is formula for trapezoidal rule to find out numerical evaluation of double integration. Next method is Simpson's one third rule. Again, the same statement I have written here. Consider the integration of integration y0 to y in integration x0 to x in f of x comma y dx dy is to determine. Let the spacing between y that is y0 and y in. The spacing between y is k whereas the spacing between x that is in between x0 to x in if the spacing is given that is divided by h. Again we have to prepare a same table. Now the same slide I have taken here for Simpson's one third rule. But there is a difference in the formula. Now what is the formula? Let's discuss. Formula for Simpson's one third rule is hk by 9. Now in a trapezoidal rule it was hk by 4. So here it is hk by 9. Again sum of the terms within the box means f of x0 y0, f of x2 y0, f of x2 y2 and f of x0 y2. We have to add all these four terms then plus 4 into sum of the terms that are integrated by arrow. So we have to add f of x1 y0, f of x2 y1, f of x1 y2 and f of x0 y1. Now whatever will be the answer of addition multiply it by 4 plus 16 into middle term present in the table. f of x1 y1 is the middle term multiplied by 16. Now if you solve this you will get answer of numerical evaluation of double integration 
by using Simpson's one third method. Let's discuss a problem now. Evaluate integration zero to one. Integration zero to one x y dx dy, taking h equal to k equal to one by two by a trapezoidal rule. Now this is what is a given function that we have given. Now if we compare this equation, whatever equation or a function that we have given with integration y zero to y n x zero to x n f of x y dx dy. Then you will get an idea. Whatever here x into y is uh, present, this is f of x y is x into y. By mistake, I have uh, put here x comma y. Basically, it is a x into y function. Okay, so f of x comma y is x into y. Now, h and k is given. It is one by two. Now, what is the lower limit of x? Now, if you observe here, this is x zero x n. This is y zero y n. So x zero is zero, x n is one. So lower limit x zero is zero, upper limit x n is one. Similarly, y zero is zero and y n is one. So tabulated values of y for a step size h equal to k equal to one by two is given as. Lower limit is x zero equal to zero, upper limit x n equal to one, f of x y equal to x into y. H and K both are given. It is one by two. So this is what is stable that we get. Now how to find out this? To find out this value, what is your function x into y? So when we put x equal to x zero and y equal to y zero, whatever value of a function you will get at this place is nothing but f of x zero y zero. So we know x zero is zero, okay, and y zero is also zero. It is given in a problem. So therefore, zero into zero answer for this is zero. Now for this case, if you observe for this case, now it is f of x one into y zero. X one is one by two, y zero is zero. So one by two into zero will be zero. Here x two equal to one, y zero equal to zero. As given function is x into y, that's why here I have multiplied this. So one into zero equal to zero. So likewise, when x equal to x zero equal to zero, and when y one equal to Uh, one by two. Now then put these values in a given function. You will get this answer. Similarly, you can find out the answer for all the places. This is what is a table that we have prepared from a given data. Now we will use a formula to find out. This is what is a table. So what is the formula of trapezoidal rule? I equal to h k by four sum of the terms within the box. Plus two into sum of the terms that are integrated by arrow, plus four into middle term present in the table. So I have written this sum of the terms within the box means f of x zero y zero. Then this is your f of x zero y two. This is f of x two y zero, and this is f of x two y two. Sum of the terms that are integrated by arrow means what? f of x one y zero. Then f of x two y one. f of x1 y2 and this is f of x0 y1 plus 4 into middle term middle term means what f of x1 y1 so if you substitute all the values then you will get answer for this i equal to 0.25 means answer of given double integration is given function f of x y equal to x into y double integration of that you will get answer as i equal to 0.25 I have taken function f of x y and h equal to k equal to one by two. So this is what is a table. X zero starts from zero and ends with one by two. So therefore x zero equal to zero, x one equal to h is given as one by four. So how to find out this x one zero plus one by four? It will be one by four. Next value of x two will be one by four plus one by four equal to 
x2 equal to 1 by 2. Next, y0 equal to 0 as it is given already in a problem. Then, what is the value of k? k is 1 by 4. So, 0 plus 1 by 4, y1 will be equal to 1 by 4. And how to find out y2? 1 by 4 plus k is again 1 by 4. So, you will get here as 1 by 2. So, how to find out this value? When we put x equal to x0, y equal to y0 in a given function, x0 is 0, y0 is 0 upon 1 plus 0. So, you will get answer here as 0. So, similarly, put the values correspondingly and find out answers for all these values or complete this table. We will use Simpson's one-third formula again to find out the value of a r. Now, what is the formula? Formula is i equal to hk upon 9 sum of the terms within box plus 4 into sum of the terms that are indicated by arrows plus 16 into middle of the term present in the table. So, substitute the values, you will get answer. Here, answer comes out to be 0.01. 406. Sum of the terms within table means what? 0 plus 0 plus 0 0.1979 plus 0. So, here I have written sum of the terms that are indicated by arrow means what? 0 plus 0 0.1108 plus 0 0.1108 plus 0. Whatever will be the answer multiplied by 4 plus 16 into middle term. So, what is 16 into middle term? So, it will be 0.058. So, it will be basically it is 16 into 0.058. Thank you for watching this video.